Uh, Gord asks, am I going to talk about the product I'm testing and reviewing? Oh yeah, let's do that real quick. So on the Facebook group, today I got review access to a video suite called Video Titan 2.0. And it seems to me I looked at Video Titan before. And, you know, it had a couple of interesting things. So I got a hold of the product developer, Chris, and got access to at least the major software components and a couple of eval logins for it. I'll go ahead and put my link for Video Titans in there. I actually like a couple of things about this, and I'm going to go ahead and let you know what those are real quick. First of all, if we go to that page, Let's uh, dispense with all of the hype and crap that is going to be associated with the sales page, shall we? If you can make $5,000 a day minimum using their process below, then good on ya. <laughs> good luck to ya. I like that. Now that being said, there are a couple of tools in here that can actually help us out in a couple of meaningful ways. One of the things that is kind of interesting as opposed to just a pure video creation tool is that they do have rather a step-by-step -step kind of process to take videos and at least get in the game as far as monetizing goes and I wouldn't say that this is necessarily a strategy for your say your product videos or stuff like that but let me give you a little example. One thing that I'm kind of interested in is I'm kind of a video guy, right? And I'd like to branch out into some of these hot video niches and see if I can make a few bucks. So the first step to that, however, is to kind of do a little bit of market research. And first of all, see if it's worth my time to maybe pursue such a thing. Uh, so for example, I have gotten kind of interested in drones, these video drone things. How awesome is that? I haven't bought one yet, but I picked up a little template here that is basically a website that populates itself with all kinds of drone stuff. And this is all linked into Amazon. So basically when I go set this little site up, and it's just a WordPress deal, it imports all of this content automatically. I just have to enter in my Amazon affiliate ID and boom, you know, I got this full blown site and this is a sample here. Pretty nice looking, all that good stuff, but I'll probably want to add like some video content and stuff like that. So one of the things I would do is go and research using this uh, one of the tools here. It's called Tube Titan. And what this does is it, you put in a keyword or keyword phrase and it will search YouTube and it will come back with all kinds of top ratings, categories, how many searches are done, what the cost, average cost per click is, and it really, I mean I have several other tools like this and they cost me, you know, a bit of money <laughs> to tell you the truth to do this kind of research and I like the layout it's really good and what this does is it gives me ideas uh, another thing I'm interested in is home brewing my own beer I like beer I want to learn how to make it myself so if I want to put together a little interest site and engage in my passion a little bit I'm going to be posting stuff and whatnot hey I might as well find things that I can use and monetize to pay for that beer doggone it because beers not cheap right so what this does is it kinda spies on these channels and lets me know things like keywords and what links are found there uh, another kinda handy thing is it will take the same search here and it will also search Facebook for all of the pages and posts and what I might use this for is to grab some content that I can curate onto my new little endeavor and things like that. I can get ideas for content. So yeah, I mean, having something that can help you sift through and research is kind of a kind of a good thing, especially if you are maybe working for a client or, you know, with whatever their topic is or if you want to do something kind of on your own. 
I guess the the thing is again since it's on a launch this is like 27 bucks <laughs> so it, just for the research tool alone I'm kinda liking it so far and you can drill down and you know I'm not gonna get into all the details and stuff very intuitive one of the other things that comes with it let's just uh, scroll back down so that's step one of the process is to do a little bit of research or be able to do a little bit of research and then he has a, a thing called one-click video okay and oh my gosh here we go again it's another 100 percent done for you animated videos click and instantly create professional videos with absolutely no work and no experience well I don't think it's uh, necessarily gonna do that but you know what let's open it up real quick because it actually there's a couple things that I like about it and even though I owns me a dozen video animator tools let me just point out a couple of quick things here first of all this is the software it's pretty easy to use and again I'm just gonna create like one slide here for now how many slides does your video have and you can choose backgrounds and yeah 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 all that good stuff but what I'm gonna do is click next and for slide one let's choose an image you can also embed video I think uh, but I haven't tested that so here we have a picture of Maggie the Wonder Dog and right here I can put in some text this is the Wonder Dog yeah and we'll click next now here's kind of the thing uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show all here I don't really know what the purpose of this little switch is <laughs> yet I don't actually have access to the tutorials I just kinda got the software but you kinda roll over here and it's going to give us a preview and this is Maggie the Wonder Dog on my watch uh, let's see if we can find a, a little different kind of slide this is an Adobe Air app and one thing that makes me nuts is I can't use my mouse wheel to scroll here you gotta grab the thing I don't like that very much uh, but here is the sample that I created just kind of a lot of nice kind of well done slates and I'll call them slates or scenes that you can use and it all just kinda works right so this is for multiple images probably but they have some nice transitions and effects and I don't even know what happens oh there's Maggie I see its logo there not real fond of the character things but a lot of these scenes yeah I think I might be able to use in little clips like maybe my YouTube end slates or this would go great at the end of a Facebook video right <laughs> uh, so I think there are definitely places to use maybe even individual slides and one thing that you'll notice is that there is not a lot of flexibility here you can't change the font you know you can change the background colors and stuff like that but I almost kinda like that in the sense that if this is just something I want to use this is how easy it is to create this slide you know I don't have to oh gosh now I'm into some complicated user interface and trying to figure out where I need to change the text and stuff it's just a little bit handier in a case like this can I use something like this you know in and as far as video content yeah absolutely <laughs> so I think there are elements and slides and things that I might use I likely would not try to create a complete video for the reasons that I've talked about dozens of times before there's no timeline I can't make anything you know other than to try to guess at how long this lasts in milliseconds really yeah uh, and uh, if I go back here I won't be like inserting an audio track and stuff like that unless I was just making a cutesy little music video uh, yeah I, I might might do something like that but like I say I've got tons of tools the thing I kinda like about this is just the sheer simplicity of the stupid thing 
you know, and it seems to work pretty well. Let's go to Camtasia here, and I'll give you like one of the gotchas. For example, I created that little sample clip, and let's zoom in here and get on the down here a little bit. So like I mentioned, I won't add my audio in the tool itself. I put mine in Camtasia because I can control it. I can, you know, slice it and trim it and fade it in and fade it out because Camtasia is built for that, right? That's what it does. So use the right tool for the right job. But here's the clip. And one thing I noticed kind of right off the bat is that if I let this roll, yep, it, it just kind of, well, let me back this up here. It just go, disappears and goes away, right? And in this particular case, what I wanted was Maggie to kind of, kind of stay there. So the trick I use there is, well, I just go to where before this animation comes in. There's my image. I could have just pulled the image in, you know, from where I got it originally, but here's a little trick that is sometimes even kind of easier. Find a, a point in the video where I have the image before the animation, go to File, Produce Special, and export this frame as a graphic file. Okay? And then just pull it into the clip bin. So here's my still image of Maggie. I dropped that at the end of the video and then just, you know, put a nice slow zoom on her. Kind of a Ken Burns effect. So I wanted a little whimper sound effect here. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I, I kicked that thing out and like, oh, one other thing I'll mention is that so you, you kind of finish that up and, and whatnot, and then when you click Next, you get to render it, and it is butt slow as far as rendering, which, you know, isn't the biggest thing in the world to me. Yeah, I don't care so much about that. But, yeah, it, it rendered pretty slow, but the quality is good. And to create little scenes like that, even easier than in PowerPoint, you know. But, again... Oh, see, it goes away. I might want to have my text stay there a little bit longer, and that's the trick that I would use inside of Camtasia. Right. Let's see. Now, as far as the other things in the suite go, there's probably a couple of handy things. I kind of like those two tools. I'm not really sure what this is. I think I remember hearing that he has some kind of source that might not be Fiverr, but maybe it is for, you know, getting content uh, that you can use. Another thing that's actually not too bad, if you don't have a tool to, like, build a, you know, a little video sales page, here's the tool for that. If you don't have something like lead pages or a theme like Optimize Press or ClickFunnels or any other hideously expensive <laughs> kind of thing, this actually kind of makes some some nice little pages. Uh, it's got some templates, and it was really rather easy to modify. So you don't get a lot of flexibility again, but doggone it, there's just not a lot of complexity in it either. So, you know, sometimes that works. I actually did one and saved it. So I would just upload all this stuff intact to my web server or even Amazon S3 for that matter. And let's see, I didn't really make any changes or anything per se to it. The YouTube video and some nice looking buttons and stuff. This would be a PayPal buy button code. Uh, I think I just sent it to PayPal. Now I don't know how it would work with an autoresponder. Some of our other services and stuff, you know, they do a good job of integrating. So as far as a squeeze page goes, uh, I don't recall that I actually saw. Let's see here. So you got some different buttons. Not really sure how you would do that other than maybe copy paste maybe form code here from your autoresponder. I'd test that. Might work. That probably works. But eh, yeah, it's not too bad. Kind of like it. You know, it's better than nothing if that's your deal. If you don't have anything, easy to use. There's a couple more things actually. 
Uh, this one here is called Tube Traffic and basically it will just take a video clip and let you put images on it that you can then upload when you upload the clip to YouTube of course you can make an annotation out of that well we don't need that because we can use Camtasia no big deal there uh, this I'm gonna still test it looks like it might be kinda interesting a way to create subtitles for your videos again this is something we can pretty much do in Camtasia I'll have to test it and see how quick and easy it is uh, I would also want to test to see if these can be uploaded into my Camtasia so I can do my timing here it says set timing so basically I'm guessing what happens is you just listen to the video you upload your text file paste it in here and then listen and click you know timing when the words match the narration or bullets or whatever so you get like six things oh and there's one more you get a a WordPress theme that's kinda geared towards creating uh, posts and pages and categories with video content so again if I was doing I don't know any number of projects kinda handy to have a theme I haven't tested it okay